Quilting has always been a part of my life. I think quilting is a creative aspect for a lot of women. I think it's their creative side coming out. I've always quilted, even when it wasn't the thing to do. It's very relaxing and it's peaceful and it's a time to sit and reflect and be quiet. There's just all sorts of reasons people are drawn to quilting. Sisters Janet Nesbitt and Pam Soliday are material girls. Quilting is their passion and their occupation. In the middle of Washington's wheat country near Spokane, they opened a unique quilt shop in a century-old carriage house and called it the Buggy Barn. We decided to open this store, our quilt store, when my sister Pam's youngest daughter went to college and my youngest son went to kindergarten and she decided that we needed something to do. We had always loved quilting and quilting together and so we um, kind of brainstormed about how we could pursue that interest and we have some very dear friends in Iowa that have a quilting shop in a chicken coop and I said to Jan I think we could do this in a, in a barn here. We knew quilting but we didn't really know the business side of it and so we decided we'd take a leap of faith. So with faith, an eye for design, and a smart business plan, the Buggy Barn opened in the fall of 1995. The Sewing Sisters learned early in life the value of a hard day's work. Pam and I were raised here in Reardon, uh, just down the road from the Buggy Barn uh, at a, on a homestead that my dad was raised on. You know, dad had, he had daughters, dad didn't have any boys, and so we were raised working the farm, and it, it was a very, good way to grow up. We learned, you know, you didn't play till your work was done. So that's, we got our work ethic growing up on the farm. A former engineer, Janet takes care of quilt and fabric design with a little help from her big sister. Pam runs the business and together they've created a pattern for quilting success. Pam came up with our mission statement, which is be honest, be kind, and have fun. And that pretty much says it all for us. You know, yes, this is a business, but we're also here for our customers. And they have been the very best part of this business. All the wonderful people we meet from around the world. Every time someone from Iowa or England or Australia walk in the door, it's very flattering to us and still hard for us to believe that they come. There's lots of times where we answer the phone and it's madness in here. We're laughing and carrying on and they're, they're always saying, well, it sounds like it's fun there. And it's like, we try to make it fun. All the girls that work here for us, they're all our friends and we have a great time together. Thank you. When it comes to designing quilts, the sisters take a lighthearted approach. We don't like to sew with things that we don't like. So when you walk into the barn, you're gonna see what we like and that's what's here. Our quilts are probably known as folk art quilts, both for the color and they are whimsical. As the popularity of the buggy barn grows, so does the demand for how-to books and patterns that show quilters how to sew buggy barn crazy. We have 12 books in publication. Now we're working on our 13th and we also have um, several patterns that we had published. We have this crazy method of cutting and piecing which we just call buggy barn crazy and once you learn that method it's sort of like you're hooked. Anything with crazy in the title of the pattern means this stack it all up, cut it all out, and sew it all back together technique. It's difficult, I would have to say, for an older lady who's been traditionally piecing for 30 years. It's, this is a very foreign thing that we're asking them to do. Like, cut this all up, don't worry about it, don't stress if things don't match, and sew it all back together and it will be fine. It's, that's a very, very difficult concept. Someone who's never quilted before and has no rules, they do great. The Big Barn, sitting next to the Buggy Barn, provides a picturesque setting for Pam and Janet to teach their crazy quilting methods. We call it Crazy Camp, and they can make any 
crazy pattern that we publish. So on a given day, all 12 or 14 ladies can each be making a different quilt. It, it's a little chaotic at first, but we've always said, if you make your first crazy, then you can make any of them. It was really fun. It started off a little crazy, but it definitely uh, was great in the end. I learned a lot. I like the vintage feel, the country uh, feel to their fabrics and all of the stuff that they do is, has a kind of a old country essence to it. The last weekend in August, quilt lovers everywhere come to see the Buggy Barn in bloom. Hundreds of quilts made by the Buggy Barn and its customers are hung from clotheslines, from buildings, and draped over fences at the barn's annual outdoor quilt show. We're thanking all of our customers for, for coming and being a part of Buggy Barn. Our customers have made the outdoor quilt show what it is. You know, they're not coming just to see Buggy Barn, they're coming to see what all of our customers have done and made throughout the year. No, oh, it's perfect. It's so nice. It's not too hot. All the, the wind is blowing, the quilt's around. It's just an idyllic setting. I think it's a comfort. They remember having quilts on their bed that their grandma made or their great-grandma made or their mom's made. You know, it's nice to give a special person a, a quilt that you've added a lot of thought into what their relationship means to you uh, to make it special for them. And I've seen that a lot here today. It is a sewing success story. Two sisters transforming an old country barn into what has become one of the nation's leading quilt shops. Together, they've built a material business based on the bonds of sisterhood. It's been good, it's been fun and very rewarding to be able to do this with my sister. We have just been blessed that it has been the success that it has been. If it weren't for my sister, there wouldn't be Buggy Barn. I think it takes the two of us to make Buggy Barn happen and it's a duo that, you know, as long as Buggy Barn's around, we'll, we'll be here too. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.